my life changed 10 years ago. It was a rainy day in Guadalajara, Mexico. I, see, I still can remember coming back from break all sweaty after playing soccer and seeing this young math teacher in front of the classroom. He was inviting us to participate in advanced math competitions. He was also offering us free advanced math classes for two weeks for, to all of us. Because it sounded interesting, because I like math, and most important, because it was free, I joined this math training. After two weeks, I participated in the state competition. In this competition, uh, fortunately, I won one of the first places. However, I was the only public school student in the state to win a first place. While competing for the nationals, I realized that my level of math was not as good as other private school students. And that was not because I was not as smart as them, but rather because I didn't have the resources nor the support that they had. But that didn't let me down. I went and knocked the doors of many of these private schools, asking if I could join their math club. Unfortunately, all of them told me no. Again, I didn't give up. And with the support of my family, I got a loan to pay for a private math school. Uh, for a couple of days, I was looking for one, but then I didn't find any in my whole city. So I ended up attending pre-college math classes at the age of 12. So, I mean, at least these classes allow me to ask questions about the math problems that I had. Um, after two months of attending these classes and working really hard by myself, I was one of the two students to, who was able to represent my state in the national competition in 2008. For the next three years, I participated in different national and international competitions. And in 2012, I won a full scholarship to finish my high school in a uh, universal international high school in uh, New Mexico called United World College. Um, after that, in 2014, I won another full scholarship to attend McAllister College in St. Paul, Minnesota. So in my freshman year, I got a $8,000 grant to start Integración Matemática, which by then it was supposed to be just a two-week summer program, advanced math for low-income students free of charge. So we got 37 students. And at the end of the summer program, we had this closing ceremony. And one of the students approached me, crying and begging me to continue the program. She argued that Integración Matemática was her only way to succeed. Unfortunately, by then, I didn't have the resources to continue. However, that moment was the start of something bigger. In 2017, that two-week summer program had become a registered Mexican nonprofit organization with four programs throughout the year and 120 students by 2017. So just as a snapshot of the situation that we live in Mexico and the lack of support for public school students. So in red, uh, there is the public school students in the 2016 state competition. As you can see, there are just five of them out of the 32 students, which is a really low percentage. And that reflects the lack of support that many of these talented students have. So to solve the problem, Integración Matemática has a four-year program in which public school talented students, they enter the program when they are in fifth or sixth grade. And then in these four years, we provide them with different opportunities, such as uh, summer programs, classes during the weekends, math days, math competitions, scholarships, all of these free of charge. Um, after four years, these fifth and sixth grades become ninth graders who have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge, and they become something that we call members. And their new roles as members is to teach math and be the mentors for future generations. So for example, last summer program, we had teacher trainers uh, or teacher assistants with uh, age was 13 or 14 years old, teaching 11 and 12 years old. So here we are, teacher uh, students teaching other students at really young age. So in, as I said, in 2016, in our first program, we had 37 students. By 2017, we grew to 120. We are pr uh, planning to serve 240 students next year and get 2,000 students per year by 2020. Also, by 2020, we are planning to have, uh, to have served 2,000 students. And by 2027, we are trying to replicate this uh, model in different locations in Mexico to have 4,000 students per year and a total of 20,000 students by the time. And then continue growing exponentially.
So um, I want to clarify that math Olympics or math competitions is not a goal, but it's a good way to reflect the results in a short term. So all, the, uh, all of our students of the first generation, they have been competing the last year in different math competitions. And all of them, without exception, they have won a place in like during this year. So for example, in the state competition, the one that I participated 10 years ago, in 2016, we have, before Integración Matemática, we have one public school student as part of the group of winners. By 2017, after Integración Matemática was started, we, we grew to five public school students. And out of these <coughs> five students, four of them are from Integración Matemática. Another example is the Rubalcaba competition, which is a state competition just for public school students. Our students participated for the first time last year and they won all the first places, all the, second, all the second places, and half of the third places. So in this organization, I'm not alone. I'm really fortunate to have an amazing team of young leaders and young teachers who are really excited to provide of advanced math education for low-income students. So some of them are Guillermo Duncan Vega, Isis Nafaretti, Sofia Vilci, Ana Lopez, Tonatiu Cruz, who is my brother, mm -hmm. Maria Trejo, and Diego Franco. And there is something really interesting about Diego Franco. So Diego Franco, he's now 15 years old. He was one of my very first students when I started teaching math clubs in 2014. Uh, and this last summer program, he became the youngest teacher in the whole state to teach advanced mathematics. So at the age of 15, he was a teacher, and he did an amazing job. So we're trying to replicate what we did with Diego to have thousands and thousands of students doing the same and teaching all the students. So at the end of the summer program, we, have a sur we give a survey to our students. And one of the questions is, if you find a student decided where you're coming to this program, what would you tell him? We get many answers, but one of the responses was, I would tell him that he will never find an opportunity like this in his life, so he should take it. And this is to show that public talented students, they are looking for an opportunity to succeed. They just need one opportunity. And we hope Integración Matemática can be that opportunity for them. So thanks to our success and results, we we've been featuring different media in Mexico, such as television, radio, newspaper, in the state and national level in the last couple of years. Um, we are currently training 46 students to become the members in the future. And as I mentioned before, we are hoping to get thousands and thousands of students to become members so they can teach the future generations. So Integración's Matemática goal is to provide support and opportunities to talented low-income students so they can achieve their full potential and change the path of their lives. Thank you so much.